Hello. In this video, we are going to calculate the root mean square velocity of a carbon dioxide molecule. First, recall that the root mean squared velocity can be calculated as the square root of 3 RT divided by M, where R is the gas constant, T is the thermodynamic temperature, and M is the molar mass. For carbon dioxide, which has the formula CO2, we know that it has one carbon atom, which has a mass of 12.01 atomic mass units. It also has two oxygen atoms, each one of which has a mass of 15.9994 atomic mass units. So we multiply that by two, 31.9994 we have one carbon atom with a mass of 12.011. And if we add those together, we get a molar mass of 44.0098. And that's grams per mole. For later purposes, we are going to want to think of the molar mass in terms of kilograms per mole. So knowing that there are um, 10 to the minus 3 kilograms in 1 gram, this is equivalent to 44.0098 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms per mole. We choose a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade, which is equal to 298.1 5 Kelvin. And last but not least, we are going to need the gas constant R, and the form of the constant that we need is the form 8.3144 joules per Kelvin per mole. Next, let us compute the value of 3RT. So this is going to be 3 times the gas constant, which is 8.3144 joules per Kelvin mole, times the thermodynamic temperature, which is 298.15 Kelvin. Once we have done that, we notice that the units of Kelvins cancel. And simplifying further, you find that this expression is equal to 7,436.815, and our units are joules per mole. Next, we want the value of the expression 3RT divided by M. Since we already have 3RT, what we need to do next is to divide this expression by the molar mass, which we've already computed, to be 44.0098 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms per mole. The units part of this derivation becomes 168980.9, but then the question becomes, what are the units? To do that, we have to recall that a joule can be thought of as a kilogram meter per second squared, and if we substitute that particular expression into our set of units here, we get the following results. So first, I'll write out what the joules is, which is kilograms meters per second squared. Then we have, previously we have 
per mole up in the numerator. We have inverse moles in the denominator, and we also have a kilograms in the denominator. Noticing that, we notice that the inverse moles will cancel and that the kilograms will cancel. And we're left with units of meters squared per second squared. You know, I erased part of it there. So we have meters squared per second squared for our units. Our last step to find the root mean square speed is to take the square root of each of these expressions. And when we do that, we get a result of 411.07. And as far as units, the square root of meter squared per second squared is meters per second, which are excellent units for velocity. This tells us that the root mean square velocity of carbon dioxide at 298.15 kelvins is going to be 411.07 meters per second. I thank you for your attention. Have a good one.